guys, it's Rob Viva Gaming here, and welcome to the 13th episode of the Severe FIFA 16 career mode series. And the first game of the episode is an away game. We're away to Rayo Velocano, and as we are, we've got some big games coming up soon, we are playing our second team in this one. We do have the second leg of the Champions League and the semi finals of the Copa de España coming up. And the first chance of the game does fall straight from kickoff as a good throw from, from Hector Vialba is ended by a poor tackle from the Real Velocano player. But a brilliant strike there from Vialba from the resulting free kick. Brilliant layoff here. No one marks Hector Vialba and a great strike, but an amazing save from the Real Velocano keeper stretching his arm out to the top corner now the next chance falls in the 25th minute as Rayo Velocano with some very nice passing play out to the wing Ebert gets into the box can he find his man in the middle yes he can but Razvan Ra luckily for us the former West Ham player does smash his shot against the bar and luckily we stay level in this match and it is still 0-0 and just before half time we have a great opportunity with a foul done on Bolo and what has he done there it hit the bar and it hit the post. What happened there? So unlucky for Phil John and Bolo. I'm not sure I've seen too many more unlucky shots than that in this game. But just before half time, Ray Velocano come forward once again. Great ball into the box, but I mean that joke with a poor header and a good save from our keeper there now from Delhi coming forward in the 83rd minute not much happened in the second half but not the anchor the substitute can he come on and save the game for us and win it for us yes he can yes he can can not be the anchor he's back his form hasn't been all that lately but he came off the bench and we lacked a bit of pace in this game. We lacked a bit of power. This lad definitely brings it. Yevgen Konopli anchor cuts in from the left wing. Fantastic play. Gets on to the stronger right foot. Puts it in the far corner. And we are continuing with our great form in the series at the moment. Obviously, last episode, we won four out of four games. Look like we've nicked this one straight on. And Yevgen Konopli anchor gets us a late win after a very poor and really quite highlightless game in Real Velocano. That's his 10th goal of La Liga this year. He's absolutely in fire. And as you can see, now in the 19th minute, can Real Velocano nick a late equaliser against us? It's falling out to Bangura. Bangura into Farina. Great hit from Farina. And a great save from Rico to save us in this match. And that is how the game would finish. Brilliant stop there from Rico to stop us from drawing this game but we have won very narrowly in the end and it's all down to that man Yevgen Konoplyanka he's won the game for us after coming on as a substitute and we win once again in the Liga and after a poor run of games in the Liga a, a while a while back we are now in a very good seat and very good at looking for that Champions League spot in the next year. Now moving on to some training, Cotan still growing extremely well despite actually not getting too much game time lately. I haven't actually been planning that much for the second game of the episode. is a home game. We're hoping for a bit more highlights than the last game. We are home to Atletico Bilbao who are a very strong side and this will be a tough game for us in a similar to position to us this year. And in the eighth minute, Atletico Bilbao about of a great opportunity that Kaylor Navas, our Costa Rican keeper, does save it now in the 18th minute. Is Atletico Bilbao coming forward once again? It's out to Gomez on the left wing. He boosts past our man, cuts him once again. He cannot be tackled. Gomez, great ball into Vigera, and he does put it over the ball. And luckily, it is still level in this match early on against Atletico Bilbao. And guys. With that is unfortunately how the game would end. A very poor match in this one. I mean, if you thought the last game was highlightless, you you should have seen this one. I mean, this one was a very poor game, extremely poor. I could only put in two highlights for you in the whole game. That's how awful it is. As you can see, there only one shot on target in the whole game, and we get a poor point at home to Atletico Bilbao. But the final game of the episode is an away game. We're away to Barcelona at the Camp Nou, hoping to beat them again, just like we did in the Copa de España semi-finals. And as you can see here, no Neymar or Messi. Sandro and Vidal are average players. Definitely 
I'm not going to cause me too much danger down them wing, but they still do have Luis Suarez. And as you can see, Barcelona are the best defensive league team in the league. Only one goal ahead of us, and the first chance falls in the 12th minute as we come forward. Eric Lamella, the tricky man that we signed from Spurs, does well to win a free kick there. Eric Lamella with his strength now. Will step up and take it is the Spanish man Ibora. Can he find the man in the box? Yes, he can. Good ball in. He said it away. It's Adil Rami. Good shot from Rami, but unfortunately, Claudio Bravo does take it into his arms. Now, in the 40th minute, we come forward once again with Eva Benega. He plays it into Ibora. Can he lay it off into Knopfliango? Of course, he can. And Knopfliango puts it in the bottom corner. He scores, continuing his form from last game. He goes over and celebrates with a bench. And what a finish this is from Knopfliango. We much deserve this, as you can see by the highlights. We certainly have had a lot of chances early on this game. The Sevilla fans are going wild at the top of the stadium at Camp Nou. Brilliant ball from Ibora to see Konoplyanka there. And Konoplyanka had to shoot at that moment. And he put it in the top, in the far corner, as everyone would expect him to. Really wasn't really wasn't expecting to score from that opportunity after Abora got the ball but he put a great ball into Konoplyanka and gets his second goal in two successive games and gets his 11th goal in the Liga altogether a brilliant form from the Ukrainian lad now in the 47th minute just after half time Abora comes forward and Eric Lamella threatening to have an opportunity and Eric Lamella he's been pushed down to the floor and what a start to the second half this is we, get, we have a great opportunity to go 2-0 up here with a penalty, Lamella with the Ronaldo chop inside. I'm really not too sure what happened here. Sandro sort of blocked him off. Maybe it was a penalty, maybe it won. We don't mind. We're going to take it. It's Yevgen Konoplyanka to step up and take it. If there was one man you trust to score at the moment, it would be this man. And he's missed. Unbelievable. The one man you'd really expect to score from the spot with the form he's in at the moment and he does miss but in the 71st minute we're still trying to double our lead it's into Michi Bashway surely he must score and he really should have buried it there the Frenchman he was very unlucky not to put it in the back of the net going so close just wide of the post and that is how the game would finish guys fantastic win away at the Camp Nou away to Barcelona one of the best teams in the world and um, Konoplyanka did get the winning goal. He did miss a penalty, but we've completely forgotten about that. We've won it away to Barcelona, and I do apologise about the lack of highlights in this game. It was a pretty boring episode, but I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I've been Rocky for Gaming, and I'm out.